The U.S. Air Force has tried to develop a hypersonic aircraft since the legendary SR-71 Blackbird was introduced during the Cold War. However, designing an aircraft capable of exceeding Mach 5 poses an enormous challenge. The temperatures reached at these velocities are so extreme that they can cause an airframe to melt or disintegrate with ease. Fortunately, the Air Force has taken advantage of new and innovative materials that can withstand such speeds, giving rise to Project Mayhem. Although not much information is known about the program, the USAF intends to introduce its first hypersonic aircraft by 2028. Leaks have also revealed that the aircraft will be capable of flying at Mach 10 speeds with incredible range and payload delivery capabilities that no existing aircraft can match. Some of the renders that have been released have left analysts awestruck, providing a glimpse into the remarkable future of hypersonic warfare. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions Kratos Defense and Security Solutions Incorporated's objective is to develop and deploy transformative and cost-effective technology, platforms, and systems for customers related to U.S. national security, allies, and commercial enterprises. Kratos employs commercial and venture capital-backed approaches, including proactive research and streamlined development processes to quickly bring breakthrough technologies to market. The company emphasizes affordability as a technology and leverages it to the fullest extent with satellite communications, hypersonic systems, unmanned platforms, cybersecurity, cyber warfare combat systems, and next generation turbojet and fan engine development. On January 10, 2023, Kratos announced that its Defense and Rocket System Services Division had secured a contract from its partner Lados to support the expendable hypersonic multi mission ISR and strike program, also known as the Mayhem program. The program's objective is to help the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory develop an air-breathing hypersonic system for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance purposes. As such, Kratos will serve as a member of the System Design Agent, or SDA team, for Mayhem, which oversees designs, prototypes, and tests of multi-mission hypersonic missile prototypes. Ultimately, the SDA will engage industry planners to bring the most relevant and effective hypersonic weapon systems to the program. Hypersonic Systems Hypersonic systems employ scramjet engines to generate thrust and propel the vehicle across vast distances at speeds beyond Mach 5. Kratos and the SDA will be developing a large class version of a hypersonic system that surpasses actual air-breathing systems in terms of payload and range, covering everything from airframes, avionics, and vehicle subsystems to propulsion systems. Dave Carter, president of the Defense and Rocket System Services Division, or DRSS, highlighted that as a critical part of the SDA team, quote, Kratos will drive mission success by leveraging our flight-proven agile digital engineering principles and extensive experience in high-performance propulsion, hypersonic, and air vehicle design. Carter also mentioned that the company has successfully developed and flown other hypersonic systems during the last decade, such as Zeus and Arrhenes. Kratos CEO Eric DeMarco also added in the press release that Kratos' mission is to be a, quote, disruptive transformation agent to the U.S. national security industrial base and market, rapidly designing, developing, producing, and fielding affordable systems and technology. The Mayhem Hypersonic Systems Program Award, with our strategic partner, Lados, is a recent representative example of our continued success. Mayhem Project Rises The Mayhem Project is the U.S. Air Force's latest hypersonic development program, and it aims to acquire testbeds for new jet engines and other components essential to design hypersonic aircraft such as Lockheed's SR-72. The project's inception dates back to August of 2020, when the Air Force Research Laboratory publicly solicited proposals for an expendable hypersonic multi-mission air-breathing demonstrator. The USAF expected the Mayhem Demonstrator to be larger than the Arrow, or AGM-183A, Air Launch Rapid Response Weapon. And although information was scarce, the Air Force Research Laboratory told Aviation Week that Mayhem could be described as a multi-mission cruiser due to its focus on sustained hypersonic flight capabilities independent of potential payloads. 
The 2021 fiscal year budget proposal provided more details on this multi-mission cruiser, revealing it would involve a multi-cycle engine or a dual-mode scramjet. The concept of a missile capable of accelerating at supersonic and hypersonic speeds without needing a separate rocket booster opened new possibilities the Air Force was willing to explore, as the ability to throttle between low and high speeds could give way to new military approaches and strategies for combat aircraft. Hypersonic Strike Recon In early December of 2022, the Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL, announced it had awarded a contract to Lados to develop a hypersonic air vehicle as part of the Mayhem Project. The $334 million agreement called for Lados to design and develop a hypersonic platform with increased range and payload capacity over every system currently used by the American military. The experimental design is intended to conduct strike, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. The Pentagon's daily contracting notice mentioned a single award, indefinite delivery and indefinite quantity deal. The work will be carried out at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio and other bases, with an expected completion date of October 2028. Lados then released a separate press release, specifying that Mayhem would employ scramjet engines to generate thrust, propelling the vehicle across long distances at speeds greater than Mach 5. Some renders were also published, showing what appeared to be an unscrewed hypersonic air vehicle with a single engine feeding from a large air intake under the fuselage. The prototype vehicle design had a long, slender fuselage, a delta wing configuration, and a vertical tail. The AFRL noted that this design is expected to carry payloads five times the mass and double the range of current technology capability systems. Futuristic Aircraft Lados President Steve Cook stated the company would leverage its years of investment, knowledge, and success in the hypersonic field to deliver the next generation of air-breathing hypersonic systems. He also expressed his team's readiness to undertake this vital mission for the nation. American analysts have pointed out that the USAF's description of the Mayhem prototype and its intended use is similar to that of the Lockheed Martin's proposed SR-72 aircraft. The successor of the legendary Blackbird is still under development, but some renders published by Skunk Works look very similar. Regardless, it is clear that the world powers are ready to focus their resources on hypersonic missiles and aircraft. In 2018, President Putin announced the KH-47M2 Kinjal hypersonic missile system with a video that showed the missile detonating over Florida. China has also done the same with its Dongfeng-17 missile. Russia's and China's missiles are expensive one-shots, coming up at almost $100 million per missile and flying at speeds of over Mach 5. Even so, the USAF plans to outsmart both nations with its Mayhem hypersonic aircraft, which is expected to travel at Mach 10 and have the ability to be refueled and used again. If successful, the $334 million investment could shift the tide of hypersonic warfare against these world powers. The U.S. Air Force has been pursuing the development of a hypersonic aircraft since the early days of the SR-71 Blackbird during the Cold War. It seems that under Kratos and Lados, it might finally become a reality. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the content we presented. If you want to stay up to date with our latest releases, please subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are uploaded. We publish regularly, so stay tuned.